Well, Minnesota Republicans are proposing to spend billions on a tax cut, the likes of which Minnesota has never seen before. Democrats oppose it, though, because it cuts taxes for millionaires along with the little guy. Political reporter Theo Keith is at the Capitol for us with the latest. Theo? Well, Amy, Kelsey, along with their press release today, Republicans issued everybody a scissors to emphasize just how big their tax cut is on the lowest income tax rate in the state, which affects all tax filers. Minnesota's lowest income tax rate hasn't budged in more than 20 years. That changes in a big way under a Republican plan to chop the rate nearly in half. Everyone pays the bottom rate on at least a portion of their income, so Republicans say it'll save many households about a thousand bucks a year. And the point is, this bill impacts everybody's rates, and I think that's the important piece. Uh, everyone's income taxes will be lowered uh, through this bill. That is exactly what Democrats oppose. DFLers say tax relief should only go to low and middle income people. We don't have to give money to millionaires like the um, Republicans did in order to help the ones who really deserve it. Governor Tim Walz, a Democrat, has proposed sending $175 checks to most taxpayers, but not the wealthiest ones. Republicans aren't proposing direct payments. The governor's proposal um, is so small, the check, it barely scratches the, the surface of inflation, so we rather focus on permanent ongoing tax relief. Republicans say their proposal will cost $8.5 billion over the next three years when combined with a plan that exempts Social Security benefits from state income tax, which Fox 9 told you about on Tuesday. The GOP said Minnesota can afford it because of the budget surplus. Democrats called it reckless amid economic uncertainty. We need to make sure that we don't set ourselves up for a deficit in the future. We're not going to have a $7.7 .7 billion surplus every, every year. Minnesota may or may not have a $7.7 .7 billion budget surplus. The new forecast, the one that lawmakers will use to decide how much money they have to spend on tax cuts and new programs, that'll come out on Monday. Kelsey, Amy? All right, Theo, thank you. Well, just two days.